Hey friends, Amanda here at Bare Bones Living. Welcome back. And today I thought I would give you guys a little update on our pigs. Um, I was out here moving them and it takes some time to restring their fencing and things like that. And I was thinking that I haven't really given you guys any uh, updates on them or shown you what we were using with them or anything. I haven't actually really introduced you to them much. So I wanted to do that. So I guess first and foremost, I'll just kind of show you a quick overview of what the setup that we have here. Uh, you saw before that we are using an IBC tote currently for their enclosure. We are going to be building another enclosure for them, but it really seems to be working for now. And then we have them in uh, Premier One electric netting fencing. Uh, I, can't, I don't know if you can tell, but there are two layers there. <clears throat> and the lower one is actually a hog net. And that's just to keep the pigs in because they will stop when there's something in front of their face and their faces are so low to the ground you don't need a big tall fence or a big tall net to keep a pig in its enclosure. Um, even when that thing is off, even when we lay it down to move them, they do not want to cross that fencing. They won't walk over it. Uh, then the taller net is actually one of our chicken nets, and that is to keep predators out from going and getting them because that, <laughs> they, they are such brothers. Um, because the hog net is so short, anything can very easily just get over that fence and get to them. So we put the poultry net around the hog net to keep the outside predators out and the little net is to keep them in, although I don't think they would go anywhere anyway. <laughs> Hi boys! Hi! They think they're going to get treats here right now, but while they're sitting here I might as well introduce you guys. This is Frank. This guy here, he's smaller, and he's got more of a black face. And then this guy over here, I don't know if you guys can tell, but he's considerably larger than Frank. And this one's name is Beans. And he's got that tan on his face. So we have Frank and Beans. <laughs> so we did decide to name them and where those are, you know, Frank is like a real name. Beans could be a real name too. But for those of you who are familiar with uh, the movie Something About Mary, Frank and Beans is from Something About Mary. Um, but it also kind of doubles for, you know, hot dogs and beans, you know, play on words. It's also kind of food related. We didn't really want to go with something like pork chop or something like along those lines, but Mike came up with Frank and Beans and I thought that was pretty funny too. <laughs> but you can see here, I'm actually standing within the poultry net and then there is the pig net that is set up here. And then the poultry net is much, the, the hog net is only 100 feet long. And then the poultry net is 165 feet long. So I set it up all the way out. Um, and so basically I have two paddocks set up here. The one that they're in currently. And then what we have been doing at their current size and hunger level is we're moving them every four days. And 
the reason I say that is because it seems to be ever changing and we're trying to get better at it. But I'll, I'll show you the previous paddocks that we had and how long we stayed there and how much they rooted up. But we're at about four days now. I just moved them here this morning and then after four days I'll bring the net back around and we'll use this paddock here and I'll just bring the netting the hog netting back around this other way like and I'll leave the chicken net up while I move them I move them by myself they never test any limits I always feed them while I'm moving them and then they're busy eating anyway but that's what has been working for me and now I have basically two paddocks set up and it's it's been working. And we do have another hog net and I thought I was going to have like a hog net here set up here and then have the second hog net set up here so that I could just let them one into the other. But with the electric netting, they both <clears throat> need to all... I mean, if you're gonna share an energizer, they need to end at the same spot. And with the logistics of adding another paddock and the way that we're moving them, it would have just been a total headache. So this is what we're doing for now and I'm very happy with it. Now this will be interesting to see if they will come and knock over my camera here because they are very, curious creatures. Oh my gosh, and look at them drink. It's so cute to me. It looks like a baby drinking out of a bottle. And they're so cute. And docile, and they wag their tails. They're just, they've been such a pleasure to be around and have around. But you can see that we have our waterer. We have a single nipple on our uh, water barrel here and that seems to be working out great for the two of them. We have it up on little wood blocks here and then I drove down some stakes uh, some T-posts just to so that they can't knock it over, but I've never really seen them Like when I was moving them today It was the first time that I actually moved this water barrel with water in it And it was too heavy for me to pick up so I had to like roll it across the yard um, And I think that's the most movement this barrel has ever seen and then when I first put it back up on these blocks I hadn't yet uh, fastened it. I have a ratchet strap around the water barrel and these T-posts just to kind of keep the whole thing nice and steady and you can see that this this is not moving even when I shake it. Oh excuse me beans. Excuse me beans. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> They're like dogs. Yeah just looking for some shade aren't you? Um, and they came up and drank on it when it was up on the blocks without the ratchet strap on there and they're just gentle with it. So that's just really a precaution. And you'll see that Frank is sitting under this A-frame-esque uh, structure here. Hey, hey, don't bite the camera stand. No biting, guys. Look at these guys. Look at them. Hey. Beans is my little, or Frank is my little nibbler. <laughs> I'm going to have to wash this when I'm done. Ah, 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 ah. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right, you boys. I had a feeling that was going to happen. All right, so abort that mission because they're just gonna continue to knock and try to nibble and things like that, and that doesn't make for good viewing. 
So I'll just go on this side so that they can't hit it anymore. Um, but that A-frame structure, that is not going to be a permanent solution. That was just something that Mike threw together real quick with what we had on hand. It's just a pallet and some extra boards that he set up, this makeshift A-frame, and then we had a piece of scrap metal that he put across the back there. And we just use that for shade for them for right now. Um, in the future, we will be making a mobile A-frame for them as their enclosure once they grow out of this IBC tote. But, and I need to put some more straw in there for them because I think they ate most of it and kick some of it out, but they could use a little bit more padding in there so that they can snuggle some more. They are very, very cute and snuggly sometimes, and then other times they bite each other. Like I said, very much like brothers. Hi, Frank. Oh, are you saying hi to the camera? No, biting me. Yes, you're... Oh, you're just going to make a mess out of me. Sky beam. Oh, you sky baby. You sweet boy. And you can see that we just cut the inside of that out for them to get in and out, but they're nice and protected still. But as I mentioned, I just moved them this morning, and this is what they have eaten and rooted up just so far today. I mean, it's already almost 5 o'clock, so this is probably the majority of what they'll do for the day. But over here, you can see... This was their previous paddock here. And it went, it included this area here, but it stopped right at the edge of that. And they were in this paddock for about four days. And I think that was a good uh, time for them. Some parts are a little deeper than others. We're definitely gonna have to level out uh, the grass a little bit where they have been rooting a little bit too much. This was another paddock that they were in for a couple of days. And they did some rooting here. And then this was their original paddock where we brought them home and we left them here for probably two weeks, maybe 10 days. Yeah, maybe 10 to, 10 to 14 days they were here and they rooted it up big time. So we gotta level this out and we're gonna put some like pasture seed down to get this to grow up real nice but this was way too long and we didn't have a plan on how we were going to move them. I'm not sure how this area didn't get included in our move, but you know, we moved them to here, then we moved them to there, to there, and now they're there. So we're moving them around my garden and we're moving them more frequently as we're moving them. So that was just a little glimpse of our Idaho pasture piglets. They are, we have had them for about a month and they are about three months old currently. Uh, they have grown quite a bit and like I mentioned, uh, beans is probably one and a half times the size of Frank, which is funny. He was always a little bit bigger 
um, than Frank, and he's just continued to grow faster. Um, but when they lay down together and next to each other, you can you can definitely tell that he's bigger. Um, but they're going they're growing great. We are fermenting their feed. We feed them twice a day, and currently they are at two cups, uh, a, a cup a pig uh, of food, one cup in the morning and one cup in the evening. And we're nearing dinner time, so that's why they're getting a little testy with me because they, they want their dinner. Um, but they're growing great. They are fun to watch. They are fun to watch them play. They are very dog-like and they love to play with my dog. They love to mess with my dog. They like to run circles around their enclosure, you know, trying to chase each other and rile the dog and she runs back and forth and we're very tempted to let them play together, <laughs> but still a little nervous too. But uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed just a quick little glimpse of our piglets. I don't even know if they're still technically piglets. I think they are. They're only three months old. Um, but that is our Frank and Beans, and they are a joy to have. And I hope you guys will stick around to see them grow, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Thank you guys for stopping by today and joining in on our journey here at Bourbon's Living. We'll catch you on the next one.